An American MQ-9 Reaper UAV fell off the coast of Yemen. It could have been shot down by Houthis. A U.S. military MQ-9 Reaper unmanned aerial vehicle crashed in the Red Sea region off the coast of Yemen. American television reports this. The UAV performed reconnaissance functions off the Yemeni coast. It is possible that the Houthis could have shot it down. At least the Ansar Allah movement, which controls a significant part of the territory of Yemen, has already rushed to take responsibility for the destruction of the American unmanned aerial vehicle. The US MQ-9 Reaper drone crashed off the Yemeni coast this week, possibly shot down by Houthis, the press reports. Note that this is not the first time such drones were shot down in the Yemen region. On November the 8th, 2023, the Houthis already shot down with their air defense systems a similar unmanned aerial vehicle of the American Armed Forces, which was carrying out reconnaissance flights off the coast of the country. Recall that the Armed Forces of the United States and a number of other Western states are currently conducting a military operation in the Red Sea region, ostensibly to protect civilian shipping. However, after the start of the operation, the risks for the movement of civilian ships in this region only increased and the Houthis intensified their attacks not only on the warships of their opponents but also on civilian ships associated with Israeli, American and British companies. In February, Iranian-backed Houthi militants said that they had downed the US MQ-9 Reaper drone near the port city of Al-Hudaydah in western Yemen. Yemeni air defenses were able to shoot down an American MQ-9 with a suitable missile while it was carrying out hostile missions against our country on behalf of the Zionist entity, a Houthi military spokesperson, Yahya Saria, said in a statement. Yemeni armed forces will not hesitate to take more military measures and carry out more qualitative operations against all hostile targets in defense of beloved Yemen, the statement said. Pentagon has announced that it will immediately send Patriot air defense missiles and artillery ammunition to Ukraine as part of a new military aid package worth $6 billion. At a press conference on Friday, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced that the United States would provide its largest security assistance package to Ukraine to date. He emphasized that the supplies would be delivered immediately to support Ukraine's defense efforts. Austin announced that the United States is allocating $6 billion for the largest security assistance package to Ukraine to date. This package is part of a broader $60 billion aid package recently signed into law by President Joe Biden, which also includes $1 billion in immediate aid. Lloyd Austin, however, said that Patriot systems for launching the missiles would not be sent. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has emphasized the urgent need for Patriot systems to counter Russia's escalating air attacks, stating that they could save lives immediately. On Saturday, Ukraine reported a large-scale Russian airstrike. Authorities in Kharkiv reported damage to a hospital, while Energy Minister German Galashchenko stated that energy facilities in three regions were targeted. Ukraine reported that Russia launched a missile attack involving cruise missiles, S-300 surface-to-air missiles, and Iskander ballistic missiles. According to Ukraine, they successfully intercepted 21 missiles using aircraft, air defense systems, and jamming techniques. Вот и будет. 